what is 10%? 10% is my dream for India. I had an extraordinary childhood. My father, Ulas Karanth, is one of India's most well-known tiger biologists. My grandfather was a renowned writer, thinker, dancer, theater personality. And I grew up around these two incredible individuals whose passion continues to inspire me even to this day. But in some ways, my life was a bit like a very familiar character. But a tigress called Sundari, who my dad collared not once, but twice, and tracked for six years in Nagarhole National Park. So this is not a typical childhood. But what I got to do was spend hours and hours watching animals sitting in a tower with my dad. And if you're a five-year-old kid or a teenager, and you're not allowed to bring any music, any, co any coloring, any books, given a pair of binoculars and told to sit there for six hours, some days it was pretty hard. I did this for 16 years of my life. India is extraordinary for many, many reasons. But to me, the biggest reason is that we have incredible wildlife. We have 40% of the world's tigers. We have all of the Asian elephants. If you don't think big, charismatic mammals are good enough, the monkey on the left is called the lion-tailed macaque. There are only 500 of them left in the world today. They're only found in the Western Ghats. We also have an incredible diversity of am amphibian species. My research projects today are still rediscovering species that haven't been seen in 75 years, discovering new species for the very first time. We also have over 1,000 bird species. The big question we have to ask in India today is that, is there room for wildlife? And the answer has to be yes. What most people in this room don't know is that we just have 4% of land set aside for wildlife. Places like the Western Ghats are spectacular places. They're found nowhere else on the planet. And unfortunately, wildlife doesn't follow boundaries. So whether you're a leopard or a sloth bear or a wild dog, you're going to be found outside a lot of the time. And when they're outside, you have conflict. People face crop loss. People retaliate as well. People lose livestock sometimes take revenge for their losses. And we end up losing wildlife. We did a research study last year, went to over 2,000 villages in the state of Karnataka. What we found, in a 10-year period, there had been 100,000 incidents of conflict. How do we solve this big problem? One of the big research findings was that 70% of people don't file from, for compensation. It is the government's job to give compensation. The government can't be everywhere doing everything. My first dream, which was to build this platform that uses technology to help conservation. The basic idea behind this site is that any villager in any park that faces a conflict situation will call in to a portal, and we will have field teams on the ground that respond to this, and the ability to help them to file for compensation and improve this process so that 70% doesn't go unreported. So my bigger dream, getting to my bigger dream now, and what I want to do for a long time, is to rewild India. 4% is not enough. India is at that extraordinary point in history where we have the money, we have the resources, we have the technology, and we have no more excuses to say 4% 4, 4 is all we can give non-human life. And I think we need to change that, and we're at a point where we can do it. This little girl happens to be my daughter. Two years ago, my father, my mother, and I were at Badra Wildlife Reserve. We heard these alarm calls, and my, my father said, so my mom and I were quiet instantly. But we were a little worried. She's four years old. You can't control a four-year-old kid. The frequency of the alarm calls kept going up, and we just kept wondering, you know, what are we going to do if she, if she made a noise? And what happened was this, beautiful female leopard came out of the park onto our coffee estate, stood in front of a water hole, sniffed around, and then walked past us. All the while, Kea was quiet. As soon as the leopard left, my mom, Dan, and I, we spent time, we just kind of looked at each other and said, did that really happen? And Kea started jumping. She said, I saw my first leopard. And to me, life, it came full circle at that point. 
As a conservation biologist, nine out of 10 times, I will lose this fight for Wild India. But the one time that I win, I will celebrate it, and I, I can't imagine doing anything else right now. So all that matters to me is Wild India, but I need people like you to improve conditions of life for people so we have space for Wild India. Thank you.